I've got an animation that I'm pretty proud of. It looks pretty good. Comes in nice, bold, bolder, bolder Colorado. I like it. As you look at it, you can probably tell that something's not quite right. And sure enough, the alignment isn't quite right. <laughs> Maybe I was trying to be artistic. Probably I just wasn't paying as close of attention to it as necessary. I could uh, use my arrow key to move things a little bit one way or the other. I could even use the shift key to move things a lot one way or the other. But ultimately, I'm probably going to be eyeballing it. Now, there are some things in Camtasia that do allow you to, these guides that are new in Camtasia 2 that allow you to sort of line things up a little bit. And right now, I can tell that these two are aligned because I got these yellow bars here, but this one doesn't seem to be aligned. There's an easier way. In the View menu, we go to Enable Canvas Rulers. Rulers show up over here, and I can click over here and drag from here, and I drag it right onto there. Also, by the way, if I want to, I can grab a ruler over here, and I make things that way. But with those rulers in place, fairly straightforward for me to be able to move my text just where I need it to be. Text or pictures anywhere on the screen. You can put multiples of them. You can move them in and out. You can also zoom in. If you've got a scroll wheel or trackpad, you can zoom in and you can see that these rulers can be moved almost to pixel clarity. So this is 824 pixels away from the center. Now it's 823, 822, and you can zoom back out to see exactly where you need them to be. They can be used to create some nice alignments. You can also create some borders that says, I really don't want anything more than 50 pixels from the edge. And it allows you to kind of keep your text outside of those boundaries. Or as I did on this project, it was a combination of, yeah, at the beginning here, I'm talking to the camera, but then I'm making a table of contents and I want to make sure that my timestamps, my text, then even those little animated balls and lines, they all line up just perfectly. All of that is benefited by having these rulers. If you want to, you can right click to remove just one. Well, there we go. Remove one or simply remove them all.